Hi, you guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite holiday recipes, healthy hacks, and it is a protein cheesecake, okay? This is gonna, it, it may not fool the, you know, it may not fool the chefs of the world or the bakers of the world, but it's gonna make you feel like you're having cheesecake. And it's 125 calories a slice, so delicious, full of protein. You guys are gonna love it. Even if you're the one that eats the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna love it. So check out this video. I'm gonna show you how to make it. So let's head into the kitchen. All right, you guys, so we've got our wet ingredients here. We're putting all the wet ingredients in the blender. So what we are doing is we have 16 ounces of fat-free cream cheese. So fat-free cream cheese is basically a protein source. So this is a great option to use here. We're doing a fourth cup of egg whites, two whole eggs, two containers of a vanilla Greek yogurt, okay? and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna put all those in the blender and blend that all up. Okay, so we have our wet ingredients all blended up and yummy and creamy. Now we're gonna add our dry, so we are doing two. So we're doing two scoops of Ideal Fit chocolate peanut butter protein. We are doing two tablespoons of Ideal Lean powder peanut butter, two tablespoons of cocoa. I prefer dark cocoa, but that's just my preference. It's also gonna give it a darker color. Um, we are going to be doing a fourth teaspoon of salt, and then you can sweeten it to taste. Okay, everyone's different. I like things pretty sweet. I'm gonna use about a half cup of baking stevia. That's why I keep it in here, that's why. That's why I want like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and add those things. All right, so we've got our batter here. Let's taste it, you guys. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I feel like I just wanna have this. I could just drink this whole thing. Okay, I have a springform pan. You can use a pie plate, anything like that. We're just gonna pour this all. It's greased, make sure you grease it because there's no crust, okay? No crust. We are gonna pour most of it, but not all of it because we like to lick the bowl, right? And if you, I, I know that, I, that there's raw eggs, I know, I get it, it's fine. I'll be fine, okay, you guys? All right. Check this out. Beauty, beauty, right? If you wanted to, you could throw some mini chocolate chips on there. You could do some peppermint. Oh, not peppermint, this is a chocolate peanut butter. We give it mini chocolate chips, it's gonna be your best option. Um, I'm just gonna leave it plain so that it's good, straight protein source, okay? Let's go ahead and throw this in here. We are throwing it in 250 for 30 minutes. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna change the oven temperature, but I'll tell you guys that in just a minute. Okay, so now it's cooked for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna pull this out. Hooey, 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 it looks so pretty. It's not quite done yet. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to turn the heat to 325. So let's do that. We're gonna wait till it preheats here and then we're gonna put it in for about 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, we're gonna watch it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, you guys, it is done. Look how pretty it looks. So I did the 325 for 15 minutes. So if I were you, I would do 10 to 20 minutes and watch it. You want a toothpick inserted in the middle to come out clean. So I'm gonna throw this in the fridge for about 30 minutes to kind of harden up and then I am gonna dig in. See the actual macros and the actual recipe and the macros in the post below. Okay, see you guys next time.